Hello everyone, today we are going to study the next family that is Caparidaceae. So let's begin in slideshow. Yes. Oh, Caparidaceae, um, most of you all have, uh, you have seen these plants uh, on the, uh, along the roadsides, uh, on the wastelands uh, with a very nice white color flower or, or uh, with the yellow color flowers. So if you see, they have very long uh, fruit. So it's a very unique um, member of this family, Caparidaceae. So if you see these members, they are moreover, especially this uh, Cleum uh, viscosa is very, very similar to uh, the plant uh, of mustard. So many people get confused. Um, of course, those who are from, those who learn botany, they, they know these family differences, they, so they come to know. But majority of them, uh, majority of the other people, they get confused in it um, and they consider it as a brass, uh, brassica or the mustard plant. No, but it's a clium, a visco, a viscosa. How that we are going to study in this family, how it is re, uh, relatively differ, differs or uh, it is differ from, uh, different from the family Brassicaceae. So there are many similarities uh, you can see in the morphological thing but actually there are many different characters. So what are those characters and why this family is placed in the, why this member is placed in the Caparidaceae family that we are going to study. So uh, Caparidaceae we are going to study first the distinguishing character of this family. If you see the, they have, they, these plants are stipulate and um, a very typical character is there that stipules are spiny. Flowers are actinomorphic and rarely zygomorphic flower you can see. So actinomorphic flower is the uh, important feature. Um, bisexual or the herma hermaphrodite, uh, hypogynous uh, that is all the uh, floral whorls are uh, on the ovary, uh, above the ovary uh, that is why hypogynous. Then gynophore is present, which is a very, very important character. What is gynophore? That means carpels have a stalk. That is what the gynophore. And in some, uh, in this family, androphore is also common. So the, uh, the, uh, the, the plant um, called um, Cleum gynandra, it shows gynophore as well as andro. So what is that? That is nothing but the stalk uh, of the uh, carpel or maybe the uh, and uh, the stalk of the androsium that is why it is called gynophore or androphore. Calyx polysepalus that means many sepals are present uh, mostly they are five to so four four and five uh, corolla uh, polypetalus where the petals are uh, free stamens four to numerous the carpels two ovary superior uh, parietal placentation is there so vegetative characters, if you see, there are very, very great uh, variation in uh, in the habit of this plant. There are some are herbs, some are shrubs, <coughs> sorry. Uh, some uh, are trees, for example, herbs, cleum. Cleum is the genus which shows all the herbaceous uh, habits. Uh, shrubs, caparis. Um, then if you see the trees, there is a uh, crativia is the tree uh, which shows, uh, you know, the habit of uh, the, this uh, family having the tree habit. So, um, again, one more interesting plant from this family that is Caparis aphyla. That is an extreme xerophytic plant uh, which, uh, which, uh, um, should, uh, which doesn't have uh, a single leaf or the uh, leaves are entirely absent. So uh, root, uh, uh, as you know, it's a dicot, uh, angiosperm, so taproot system is there. Herbaceous or woody stem is there. Uh, solid, branch, spinous and cylindrical uh, stem is there. Leaves are alternate, simple or palmately compound uh, with the stipules. Also, there is a gland present um, uh, in these plants. Okay, so this is the general habit and, uh, uh, you know, the uh, morphological drawing of the um, 
example cleum viscosa and uh, you can see here the stock on the um, uh, ovary that is nothing but the uh, gynophore okay floral characters uh, we have consider uh, we have to divide the uh, vegetative uh, vegetative uh, morphological characters into two parts uh, vegetative characters where uh, leaves root and stem we have to explain and the floral characters where you have to explain about you have to explain uh, inflorescence flower calyx and corolla so here inflorescence is raci um, corym in case of merian uh, caparis of phyla uh, then solitary in case of neburia flower bracteate that means bracts are present actinomorphic sometimes zygomorphic in case of uh, caparis of phyla it is zygomorphic uh, hermaphrodite bracteoles absent hypogynous pedicellate uh, and trimerous if you uh, see the calyx calyx 4 usually arranged in a two whorls 2 plus 2 polysepalous imbricate aestivation and inferior in caparis of phyla, the sepals are unequal and the hinder sepals forms a hood like structure. That is what the uh, caparis of phyla is, uh, shows a various, uh, uh, various character uh, apart from the members of this family. Corolla petals are four, polypetalous with a long claws, imbricate in case of cleum, or volvate in case of crativia. Astervation, inferior and um, all these characters belong to the uh, corolla. Androsium, let's see the androsium. Stamens are numerous to four in case, some case. Um, in caparis uh, crativia, there are numerous stamens. So uh, here in this family, you can see the variation in the stamens numbers also. For example, in Cleum gynendra, only six stamens are there. In Cleum tetrandra, tetrandra itself uh, telling you that it has the four stamens. Cleum gynandra, both the androphores and gynophores are present. As I tol uh, told you, um, gynandra has both the uh, androsium as well as, uh, sorry, and um, androsium uh, has stock as well as gynosium has the stock. And that is why they are called androphore and gynophore. So, um, in Marathi, that plant is called Pandri Tirvan, and the yellow color flower plant is called Piwi Tirvan. So, um, you can see this plant very common in Maharashtra on the westlands. Gynosium carpels two, sometimes four, sin carpels seated on uh, a long gynophore or sessile. If it like gynophore is not there, then it, it must be sessile. Uh, ovary superior unilocular with a parietal placentation. Ovules many, each uh, placentum. Style short or absent. Stigma capitate or depressed. What is capitate? Capitate means cap like. Root silicua or berry uh, or droop. So these three types of fruits are present in this family. So this is again the example of. Uh, and some of the pictures of the uh, caparis species. Uh, this is the caparis and this one is the um, pandri tirvan as I told you, um, cleum gynandra. So let's talk about the economic importance of this family. So um, though this family uh, um, doesn't seem so, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, important as, uh, but it has some of the plants which shows a uh, really uh, good importance in case of medicine and in case of food. So what are those that we are going to study? So um, ornamental plants, the Caparis spinosa, uh, Cleum spinosa and Crativia uh, are the plants which are found generally uh, in the garden as ornamental plants. Now let's talk about the medicinal plants. So roots of Meria are used as a tonic and also as a stimulant. The leaves and bark of Crativa uh, are di uh, diuretic in nature. Cleum gynandra, the seeds are initially employed to control the round bulbs. 
so uh, the seeds of trillium gynandra are having uh, have the uh, capacity which can control or which can uh, control the population of the roundworms the uh, top shoots and young leaves of the caparis aphyla are powdered and used to raise the blisters and relieve toothache so this is a zero phytic plant but it has a really economic import uh, economic importance the burn not only the uh, you know the uh, the fresh plant parts but the burn uh, and powder wood of the caparis aphyla shows a very good uh, quality uh, or the important medicinal importance for the for the control of the leucorrhea uh, let's talk about the economic importance of the uh, plants belong to family caparidaceae so the next one is the food uh, the family birds of the caparidaceae spinosa uh, are used uh, in flavoring of foods so uh, flower birds of uh, caparidaceae spinosa uh, they it has a very nice flavor so wherever you wanted to give nice flavor to the foods they use these birds um, to uh, flavor as a flavoring agent caparis uh, decidua or caparis zelenica the fruits of these plants are used as a, used for the preparation of pickle so uh, not a very um, you know the big list of the uh, foods and uh, food as uh, as per as the economic important concern of this family but still this members um, majority of members especially the caparis aphyla is a very very uh, economically important plant uh, 